suck up golf rails. The homies is out. Action must be taken. No more Fortnite, Kyle. I can't believe you did that. Son, we need to have a talk. What's this? And this? Jesus Christ, son. But before we have that talk, have you heard of mobile games? The ability to game anytime, any place. As a gamer, gaming anywhere is just so important. You know, you could game at school, at work when the bus isn't looking, uh, a plane hijacked by Bane. Do you play large mobile? Now, one thing I've noticed with YouTube ads is that about 70 to 80% of them are mobile games. And especially now the fact that YouTube plays two ads sometimes when a video starts, the chance of seeing a mobile ad is just even higher. Like, for example, recently, I got an ad for uh, this mobile game. <laughs> No one make to the ocean. Again, like, this was made, right? This is the final product. This went through QA testing. And they were like, yeah, that's good enough for YouTube ads. Just how many people could sit? 15 million? Yeah, just, just max it out for 15 million. And also, that annoying laugh that was poorly looped, it's just stolen. It's not even theirs. Also, is it just me, or does no one understand the logic of racing to the ocean? when you can jump out of the tube? Like, wouldn't you just jump out the tube at the beginning? Also, is it just me because I'm a gamer and I understand games? Is the logic of this type of game completely broken? Now, what I've actually done is found this game or something incredibly similar. I don't know, they've changed some things. Maybe they ran into some copyright trouble, who knows? Now, to test out this game, to see if it works, we need a, a very mature, well-crafted name. I'm thinking Weed Knows. Fucking Ryan Shield, what else do you want to do? Oh, Ryan Shield, I'm a person that uses Ryan Shield. So, there's no sound. This is good. I mean, kind of boring, but at least there's no screaming. So, as my brave hero, Weed Knows, if I just jump out as soon as possible, right? And then ride it down. Bruh. What? I I've just skipped the whole map. I have literally skipped the whole map. Don't, don't mess it up now. Come on, you're gonna win. You're gonna win, Weed Knows. You're gonna get first place. Bruh. And he didn't even land in the pool, but the game still thinks I've won. And now there's confetti. 10 out of 10 games. What a great game. Bring back Slither.io. What a fucking- So you can just skip the entire map. And there's no repercussions at all, like... Bruh. Now, as garbage as that kind of game was, it did actually make sense. It was grounded in reality. Reality with a, a floating half pipe coming from the heavens. But the thing is with mobile games, it's very rare for the ads for them to actually make any kind of sense. For example, with uh, this one here, you just got a guy taking a dump, placing objects in his bathroom on a tablet, and whenever the object he gets is wrong, the house tries to kill him, but he just grows tumors on his head. I am very confused, but I do want to give this app a try. <laughs> Okay, this is lit. This is lit. This is my house. I do actually have this much money. Connect on Facebook. <laughs> You're looking like a really hip and trendy game right now. Advertising Facebook before the even before the intro even plays. I have always thought of you as family. Don't okay. care. Enter my name. I need a really good name. Weed Nose isn't funny anymore. Okay, so we're calling ourselves Honda Civic. I think that's a really good name. I'm still waiting for the guy that... Wait. What? This is just Candy Crush. This is literally just Candy Crush. The entire game is just Candy Crush. And I'll never understand how middle-aged women can play these games. Like, bro, R Risk of Rain got updated, like, th two days ago. Go play that instead. Am I finished yet? This is it. This is the whole game. Let's go on, uh, let's go on the App Store and have a look at some of the reviews. Advertising did not match the game. I don't know why people think it's okay to false advertise to people, but if the creators buy something that wasn't advertised correctly, they want their money back. Yeah, you tell them, Ziggy Zyla, demanding your money back on a, a free-to-download game. I don't even get it. The advertisement looked retarded, but it actually looked like a, a, a semi-interesting game. It was just a match three game. Okay, Matchingtons. Goodbye. Now, one thing I love about these mobile games is the dilemma between a noob and a pro. Like, you'll just have the noob who's just terrible at existing in general. Every day is suffering for the noob, but the pro, they are such a chad. Any game you throw at them, they can beat it in five seconds. Now, I think I saw one once that instead of having noob and pro, you had uh, Thanos and Hawkeye. 
some high level IQ right there. There's one here as well, and they're actually so lazy with it, they just mixed up noob and pro. Like, why even bother? Now, you know those mobile ads that don't even look real? They just enter this uncanny valley that there is no way that this ad you're seeing could actually be playable. It, it's We haven't reached that level of technology yet. Like, you got this ad here of uh, someone trying to find out who's faking their pregnancy using a green screen of the crossbow from Black Ops. Faking your pregnancy on my United flight? Get off the plane. And also, get, get rid of that uh, Vietnamese man. I don't like the look of him. Now, one thing I love about mobile game ads is when they get real life actors. This is usually when they've got a budget of above five pound and it's it's just glorious. Now, the thing is about these people is that they just cannot act at all. It's the equivalent of these people that are in Undercover Boss USA, just someone they plugged off the street. Hey, can you just pretend to do this thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll just give you an iPad. Just tap it, pretending you do. Yeah, you're doing great. You do, you just keep doing that. Just keep keep the cameras rolling. They have less soldiers than me, though, so I'm just going to send my cavalry in because I totally outnumber them. And they just died. What did I do wrong? Oh, you can get into formation. I'll go with the scissor formation and rock, paper, scissors their butts. You've got another example of the same game as well. Uh, they use the exact same gameplay, just got different actors to make it look different. You think I might win this one? Judging from what I'm seeing right now, he has way less troops than you might Oh, he's shooting arrows. Wait, what's are going down? Hmm, why did they all die? Maybe they died because they got an arrow to the head. I don't know, man. That, that's usually what happens when you get a major injury to anywhere in the body. You might go into shock and die. This is Oscar tier acting. Oh, shit. Did, did I sponsor Lord's Mobile once? Lord's Mobile is a real- Uh, Lord's Mobile? The parasitical character is not real. I'm I'm parody. Please sponsor me. Please sponsor me again. I'm so sorry. I'm literally a backstabber and I don't even live in LA. Right, I've dug my trench. I've got to go in it. Lords Mobile, I'm sorry. You, the game, I'm sure, is great, but the ads are... There is no real me. Wait, what's really going down? Why did they all die? We get it, bro. You played medieval. Sir Daniel Fortescue got an arrow into the eye, then he came back from the dead. You, that doesn't work in real life. See, that was a gamer term. Did any of you understand that joke? No, you didn't. I'm cool. I play Minecraft. Yeah, play Medieval 2 on the PS1 and then come back to me. Think they might win against the archers? Yeah. All right, they're blocking with their shields. Uh-huh. Oh, they're going down. Wait, we're actually winning. I told you. Let's go. Hey. No bad actor can finish a sentence without the fabled line, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you're a streamer and say let's go, you're the equivalent of a 14 year old white girl that still watches Smash. I'm pretty sure in Fortnite, more people have said let's go than thank the bus driver. Now, of course, how could I mention bad actors without mentioning my best friend? About last night. What happened last night? I was in Master. Coin Master. From one finger to another. My feeling just ruined. Sorry. You will be sorry. Whoa. Chill out, Morgs. Beating your girlfriend is not how you take your frustration out on a mobile game. You open up the app store and rate it one star. By the way, guys, Morg's mom is very close to overtaking me. She probably will in the next three days. So please subscribe to the channel to stop that from happening. You can't stop it. It's like judgment day. It's inevitable. We can only postpone it. I feel like I need a section dedicated to Morg's every video now because I bring him up too much. But anyway, anyway. So you've got these ads that are just so deceptive. You know when an ad plays after like five seconds, you can skip it. A lot of these ads are actually been screen recorded. Recorded. So someone's actually nabbed a pre-existing ad, screen recorded it, and then posted it saying it's their own game. Why? Now, I want to bring you back to a golden age of YouTube. We all remember the Mafia City ads. Your wealth. Poor. Your memes. Poor. Comedy levels. Poor. SHUT THE FUCK UP! These abhorrent, tasteless ads that, that they just wouldn't even show gameplay. You had all these pre-rendered animations that were like probably done in Gary's mod or something. I like this one where he punches the security guard and the security guard turns into a, a case. What? Or this one that literally stole the model of Buck from Far Cry 3. Like th that's not a fan rendition. Uh, also, shout out to the arm wrestle where the guy turns into Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. And the guy who works out so much, he turns into Daniel Craig. Now, one thing I wanted to do, I've seen all the memes of Mafia City. I do want to download it and see if it actually holds up. Okay. When does Book from Far Cry 3 appear? While you were gone, Erroneous men have been continuously attacking us. 
Is this a meme? Is this a meme? What is going on? Our mobility shall inflict a heavy blow on- Why is all the audio so bit compressed? They sound like civilians from a Ubisoft game. What the fuck is that smell? Why is it even going on? I'm just pr I'm pressing buttons. So, there's people on motorbikes, and the people on motorbikes are the same size as the SUVs with gun turrets on them. Okay, there's some guy speaking in Arabic below. How do I talk to him? Revered bus, your mansion is below level three. You can't send the message. Bruh! You need to level up just to send messages? That's like the only thing in this game that would actually be fun. I think I'm gonna end the game here. I really enjoyed that. If only you could enter the chat as soon as you've begun the game. That would have made it even better. Here's the top review at the minute. There was a mistake. It was approaches made last night. More than a hundred dollars that I did not want and would like a response back on how can my money be put back on my credit card. <laughs> I've called my bank holder and I was told I could fill out a claim report, which I've done. I don't know any way to contact the owners of this app for feedback. He gives the game one star because he spent money accidentally probably on his mom's credit card so i want to finish up this video by looking up an ad that danny gonzalez has frequently talked about and this is called game of sultans not game of thrones game of sultans and this has some of the best ads i've seen on mobile and i, I mean that 100 percent unironically oh my gosh this lady is so mean to me i'm so pissed <gasps> i get to give her revenge yes okay poison her slap her beat her Oh, I'm gonna whip her like crazy. Yes. Is uh, is she okay? Like, I'm just asking, man. Everyone's allowed to do their own thing, but you seem a bit too keen on beating other women. Oh, I'm gonna whip her like crazy. Now, I also want to try a game of sultans because you know I I consider myself a bit of a sultan. You know, I'm a rich guy out here in Arabia. Uh, also got a death grip shirt. You know, very expensive, worth a lot of money. I am actually a sultan which is a, a bird of a breed of white domestic chicken from Turkey. I've got really high hopes for this one. Okay, so I can make a character and make a name. Now we want to go for the biggest beard possible. So we're going to call him Egg. I think Egg's a really good name for a character. Lord Egg. State matters await your attention. I regret nothing. Uh, I press thing and it worked. Okay, this is epic. There's going to be a battle. Is this Lord's Mobile? Apparently, whatever country this takes place in, when people die, they just despawn. Oh god, now I'm getting Mafia City notifications! What was this fucking math class? Stop with all the numbers. This is actually a really good simulator of rich people. They, they just sit on their ass to do nothing all day and generate income. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons and getting money. Look at this. I'm just going to look at some reviews of the Play Store for content. I was utterly disgusted upon watching an ad of this game. It featured a sultan who chose a wife and found that their child had no talent. He then abandoned his wife and a window popped up asking if the sultan would choose again. I couldn't believe that such undisguised sexism is being promoted by this game. This is an utter insult to all women on this planet. I've reported to Google. I mean, they are probably in the wrong, but at the same time, you're playing a mobile game in 2019. Now, I was going to finish the video here, but I've also found this. Do you remember that game, Kick the Buddy, you used to play when you were like 12? I mean, you still are 12, you watch my channel. It's like this game where you could torture this ragdoll guy. Some of it's a bit graphic, you know, you can chain him up in a kind of suggestive way. You can give him radiation sickness that makes him throw up and die. There's no blood in it apparently, so it's okay. Now Kick the Buddy has released an ad campaign that I keep seeing on YouTube. Kick the Buddy tries to insult you in some quite derogatory ways. Hey, you suck. Your mom is fat. You loser. You hit like my mama. They made a gay joke in the middle of Pride Month, and now their story is just being absolutely review bombed. Genius marketing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was very fun to make. If you did enjoy, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I don't have a Patreon. Like the video, subscribe, just, just turn ad block on and go. Who's the man?